Good morning. My name's Pete. And welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. Hopefully of many. Thank you. This channel is intended for learners of English. I plan to record my daily conversations with this camera and then subtitle them and then upload them to YouTube. I hope that this method of teaching can help prepare you for the kind of conversations that you'll actually be having in an English-speaking country. Right now, it's 7.59 a.m. and I'm on my way to McDonald's. This video is going to be based entirely on McDonald's. So I'm going to visit McDonald's quite a lot over the next week or so. And then I'm going to order different things each time such that I can have a slightly different conversation with the McDonald's staff. Then I will collect all these videos and edit them together and upload them into one YouTube video. I hope that this style of video can not only teach you English, but also immerse you in the life, life, what it's like to live in England. By the way, welcome to the lovely city of York, which is in Northern England. I think the process of ordering at McDonald's will be the same everywhere in the world. However, often they don't speak very clearly or they might speak very fast and it's difficult to actually pick up what they're saying. So hopefully with this video you can slow down the conversation and learn what to listen to, what to listen for when you're ordering at McDonald's. I think a lot of people are often very surprised about the casualness of British customer service as well compared to American customer service so they might give you a very casual greeting when you arrive like hi mate or something like that this is friendliness <laughs> don't be confused but it's just very different from in other countries, I imagine. Such as the USA or Japan. Anyway, I won't make you listen to me all the way to McDonald's. So let's roll the clips now.
Uh, can I have a breakfast wrap, please? We're not doing a wraps at the minute. We've got like a breakfast roll, so it's got the egg, bacon, and sausage on like a French one. Okay, yeah, that'd be yeah. fine. Do you want brown sauce or red? Uh, red, please. Red. And do you want that as a meal? Does it come with a hash brown? Yes. Yes, please, then. And what drink would you like? Uh, I'll just have a cappuccino, okay. please. That's all, thanks, yeah. Uh, it's 4 79 Can I pay with card? Yeah. We'll have to get you a receipt, yeah. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have some extra ketchup actually, please? That's great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. A big Mac meal, please. Medium or large? Uh, medium. One drink? Uh, can I have a banana milkshake, please? Uh, do you do this? Do you do the student deal cheeseburger for free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have a cheeseburger, please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that's all. Thanks. With card, please. Thank you very much. Is that 50 curry? Thank you. Oh, is it okay to get some curry sauce? Thank you. Thanks very much for stopping in. That's great. Thank you. Can I have a sausage and a muffin, please? As a meal? Yes, please. So she's in moving, yeah? And what drink would you like? Uh, I'll have a cappuccino, please. Cappuccino, please. Cappuccino. Thank you. Yes, 429, please. I'll pay with card. Thank you.
Hi. No thanks. No, thanks. Cheers. Hi. Can I have a uh, twenty nuggets, please? Yeah. Any dips? Uh, what are the choices? Um, no ketchup, barbecue, or sweet curry. How many can I have? Half. Half of honey. <laughs> oh, I'll have um, I'll have two sweet chili. Did you say? Uh, sweet curry, sweet chili, or twenty k. Okay, two sweet, two sweet curry. Yeah. Uh, one ketchup, one barbecue, please. Yeah. Anything else? That's all. Thanks. That's five pounds fifty nine. Can I pay with cash? Is that right? Thank you. Thanks very much. Sit in if possible. Yeah, do you have the to yes, no problem. Uh, no. No. Once you've ordered off the kiosk, it'll ask you for a number. That's the number you need. Pop that in, then take a seat upstairs okay. and we'll bring it to you. Can I order at the counter as well? You can order at the counter as well. If you can just go that way around. Okay, thank you. Can I have a barbecue bacon stack meal, please? Yep, or drink, would you like? I can have a Sprite Zero. Would that be a Sprite, I'm Okay, um, I'll just have a Diet Coke, please. Diet Coke? Thank you. Uh, you name, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm eating it on the table. Is it okay to also get a um, McFlurry in a student deal? What flavour is that? What are the options? Um, Oreos, Marty's or Malteser? Uh, I'll have Malteser, please. With card, please. Do you know where this table is? Uh, just say any table, we'll be able to find you with that. Ah, okay, great. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. That's alright. Cheers, man. Thank you.
How did you find that? Was it difficult? I intentionally ordered at normal speed. I didn't slow it down. So if you had difficulty catching what they were saying, or what I was saying, please check the subtitles. Today I decided to eat it in the restaurant. Under normal circumstances, they ask you when you're ordering whether you would like it to stay in or take out. Things are a little bit different now. Normally you carry the tray yourself to the table. You might also have noticed that today I got a free McFlurry. And one time as well, I got a free cheeseburger. And I did this by showing them my student card. McDonald's has a promotion in the UK where if you're a student, if you buy a full meal, then you're entitled to either a free McFlurry or a free cheeseburger both of which are worth about one pound. This makes McDonald's quite popular amongst students. This is the York Minster, by the way. Let's go this way. What do you think of the British customer service? It's quite casual. Especially compared to American customer service. British people often think that American customer service is very forced. And they're not genuine. They always seem to be forcing a smile. because their employer makes them. Yeah. I think that's what most British people think about that. <laughs> Whereas I think British customer service is a lot more genuine. Of course, Americans might just think British people are unfriendly. But I don't think so. This will be the end of this video anyway. Let me know if you enjoyed the format. More videos will be coming. I must thank the channel Moshi Moshi Yusuke, who teaches Japanese on YouTube in a very similar format and his videos inspired me to make this in English so if you want to learn Japanese like this then please check out his channel
Anyway, that's the end. See you next time.